Alright, so, Toddy. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. Um, can you tell me how old you were and what was your motivation to start painting? Um, I think I was around 15 years old when I first started painting. And it started because I was a cranky young kid and just wanted to destroy stuff around the neighbourhood. <laughs> so it started with that and kind of evolved into something bigger over the years. So some of the earliest influences I had revolving around, I guess it was graffiti at that point, was a few friends. There was one friend in particular who um, was painting and he was painting bigger and better crazy places and it sort of opened my eyes to what's possible because I was just you know, walking around the neighbourhood drawing on telephone poles and post boxes and stuff like that so and my my buddy that I met he, um, he was sort of using a few different colours and painting larger scale things and things with a little bit more skill and it kind of made me think I was like oh I might I might try try have a go at this and um, had a go and it was horrible. It was shocking, absolutely terrible. I uh, had no idea, sort of putting down paint in a dark train line and you can't really see, so you've got to kind of develop a mental mapping of where you've been and you, you, you outlay it in your head. So you start to develop the skill to scale, I think, when you can't really see what's going on. And then continued to paint, painted more and more and more, and then got in trouble to try and find a little bit more of a widely accepted way for me to paint. So it's been a constant, constant adaptation and now I force myself to adapt so some days I might just grab random stuff and just go boom, chuck it in a bag, you know, figure it out when I get there. And I think that's where it's the most fun. Yeah, I think painting has influenced me as a person and my personality to be adaptive. Like I started when I first started painting, it was I'd go into it with a set idea of what I wanted it to look like, and if it didn't shape up to what I was envisioning, I'd get real upset about it, and like I wasn't enjoying it. So I got to a point where I was I was painting, I was painting the same thing. I was trying to paint cleaner. I was trying to paint with like perfect letters and spacing. And after a while, I was just like, this isn't this isn't fun. It's like there's a right. I'm, I'm looking for a right or wrong answer. And I don't think that, in my eyes, that's not what art is. Art's something that just makes itself and it's a constant state of problem solving. So I adapted that to my life in a way. So it was like, I've got no control of what goes on. So there's no point in me getting upset when something doesn't fall together in my life. I'm just going, okay, next chapter, next piece, next day, whatever it might be. So you can kind of get caught up in it. And I did get caught up, and now I'm sort of going the exact opposite route where I just don't care, it doesn't matter. I'm painting because I enjoy painting and it's always fun and exciting because I don't know what's gonna happen. It's brought a lot of stress into my life, I guarantee it. Like, I'd hate to think about how much money I've spent on like paint, lawyer's fees. There's, there's, there's a lot that comes with the culture, but I've, I wouldn't change it. No way. It's been really good. Met some amazing people all around the world. It's been unreal. I've got the thing that makes me happy. I'm just trying to make money from it. So, it's a weird puzzle piece. <laughs> That's pretty much everything, yeah? Beauty, man. Awesome, thanks. Sweet. Nah, cheers. 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 Thank you. <laughs>